Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. So as you guys might know, I've been in Birmingham for the last couple of days. So I normally do like a Trader Joe's and Whole Foods run while I'm here. And I did that today. So I thought, well, I have a quiet house minus bear who does his own thing and I have a chance I figured I'd talk you through some of the things I picked up a lot of times I pick up things to fill in the gaps for any groceries we brought up here sometimes I'll pick up things to try um and sometimes it's a few of my favorites so yeah let's get into it I go through the line here because as I was coming in the house one of these bags broke um not Trader Joe's or Whole Foods I did pop to Sam's and grab some organic maple syrup if you guys have a Sam's maybe Costco does it too these are a great way to buy them for whatever reason ours wasn't stocking them this past week when we went so they just like weren't there at all so on the off chance they're gonna disappear for a while I grabbed two but from Whole Foods I grabbed quite a few random things so I'll kind of go through them as I come across them. First thing is anchovy paste. I have a recipe to make crab cakes from Eat What You Love by Daniel Walker, so those were needed. And then we gra I grabbed a couple of Go Macro bars. These are my favorite bear. These are my favorite on the go. I eat them quite regularly. Um, sometimes I go through phases where I'm just not into them, but I do like to have them on hand just because I find that these are one of my favorites. And the blueberry, and cashew butter has been a regular along with peanut butter. I got a couple of those so they'll float in and out of the bag. I also grabbed two packs of these guys. They are the Lundberg Caramel Corn Organic Rice Cakes. Just when I want something sweet and a little bit crunchy, these are nice to have on hand. I grabbed a pack of the fresh ravioli from Kite Hill, the spinach ravioli. Now it's dairy free, but it is not gluten free. Um, I haven't actually tried it, so I wanted to try this just because I needed I felt like I needed to, but I do try to limit gluten for me. I have a gluten sensitivity, not an intolerance, a sensitivity, so too much gluten and I don't get along. And since I can't seem to find it anywhere closer, I figured this would be nice to try. So I signed up. I grabbed two cans of tuna, the wild solid, uh, the albacore solid wild tuna. This is in olive oil. I like it in olive oil. Um, I couldn't find it without water or anything, but I do enjoy the olive oil. I feel like it gives it a nice little taste. And I grabbed a couple of kombuchas from Health Aid. I normally grab GTS, but I saw Health Aid on the way out. So I grabbed a pomegranate one and there's a lady apple one somewhere in the bag. I've already been drinking this. Something different that I have, don't think I've tried before, is Julian Bakery's Paleo Almond Bread. I do have a blog post coming up on like gluten-free breads. So this was on the list to kind of give a try and I'll let you know how it is. It's thinner. Um, I go through bread phases. Sometimes I'm like super into them, sometimes I'm not. I have ones that I do prefer, but I figured I would give that one a shot. And like I said, here are the other Gomacro bars. I also snagged some hazelnut milk. Now I mentioned, I don't know if it's going to be alive yet, but I did go to a cafe the other night that served macadamia and milk macadamia nut milk as an option so i really wanted to actually get macadamia nut milk to try um because i enjoyed it the other night and i thought it would be like a nice option but since i don't have that they didn't have it i grabbed this um i grabbed two one to kind of try and then one because i figure at some point i will probably i have it on the list to kind of do a non-dairy milk like what froth's the best kind of thing so i grabbed one for now and kind of a one for later whenever i do that test I also grabbed a bit of Paleo Crunch, no gluten, no refined sugars, no junk added. In the original flavor, I made some chia seed pudding the other day and I wanted something to kind of top with that. And I also grabbed a thing of milk, which is pure almond milk. This is unsweetened vanilla. Milk is made with sprouted almonds, so it can be a little better on your digestion and it doesn't have as many like additives and junk in it. Um, ingredients are insanely simple. Filtered water, spotted almonds, natural vanilla, derived from vanilla beans and Himalayan sea salt. So if you have a tendency to be sensitive to like gar gum and the other gums that can get added in non-dairy milks, this is good. Um, I tried one and didn't super love it in the context that I tried it, so I want to kind of give it another chance. Another bag of these guys, the Lumberg Rice Cakes. And my other kombucha. this oh I grabbed some other mayonnaise um I've never tried Sir Kingsington's one I normally grab primal mayo but because I need mayonnaise for the 
eat what you love recipe. I know that mom was probably gonna bring some, but I didn't know how much we had on hand. So that, yeah, that is everything I got from Whole Foods. So Trader Joe's wise, I grabbed some very random things. I grabbed a box of these ABC bars. They're almond butter, cacao, or cocoa bars. And I just really wanted something a little sweet. They had some, they used to have these like brown rice syrup bars that I liked, but I couldn't find those. So I grabbed these to kind of give me that little like bit that I wanted and they're okay. Um, soft and chewy cookie dough with creamy almond butter filling. So an option. I grabbed some banana chocolate chip muffins for my sick dad because he loves a bit of a sweet something. I grabbed some spinach because I grabbed four bags of cauliflower gnocchi. So I want to try these. I know that they're like a thing right now. Um, so yeah, like I said, I grabbed four bags of these to kind of try them here and then maybe try them again at home. But I figured I'd probably end up doing it maybe with like a tomato sauce. So I grabbed some spinach to go in there. Also grab some organic Brussels sprouts because I love a bit of organic Brussels sprouts. A cucumber so I can chop it and meal prep it for the week. I have some hummus that I need to use up. Some baby broccolini just because I like broccoli and broccolini. I don't eat broccolini as often so I figured that would be a nice change to kind of have. Another thing of apples. I mentioned recently that I am on an apple kick so the Gala Organic Apples. These apples are very, very small, but I'll probably end up eating two at a time, but they're nice to have on hand and they're really good for travel days. Uh, I've got a thing of mushrooms. I was kind of thinking about making an omelet over the last couple of days, but the problem with that was that I didn't have um, everything that I really wanted to put in it. So I haven't done it and I have an avocado on the that like needs to be used. Now that I've got cauliflower. Um, I grabbed one jar of the organic spaghetti sauce with mushrooms from Trader Joe's. It says fat free, I don't really care about that. A lot of these have either sugar or soy or milk or all kinds of other ingredients in the sauce. So if that's something you don't do well with, I would be mindful, just make sure you read it. I grabbed some organic blueberries to kind of go with my chia seed pudding. That just has sounded good the last couple of days. And then again, I grabbed two boxes of these because I know that they'll probably go quickly in my house. And then I grabbed a thing of horseradish again for what I am making, making crab cakes. So, I have bags everywhere. That is like my full grocery haul. Now, I did go to Stola Table and since I went, I thought I'd kind of show you guys that too while we're here. Um, because I've realized recently that I've been having issues, like if you guys watch the vlogs, you'll know that I've been having issues with coffee and I think that it's, more so how it's made than anything else. I feel like the acidity of French press coffee has really been aggravating my stomach, but I haven't had the same issues necessarily with cold brew or with Keurig coffee. So I bought, <laughs> uh, let's just pull it out of the box. Um, I bought a Chemex. So I have like a version of this somewhere in all of my boxes. Um, I bought like a, more affordable version of this at World Market years ago, but I don't know where it is anymore, and I honestly just cannot be bothered to spend two hours digging through all of my boxes that have been packed for two years because I feel like when I move again, I'm just gonna have to repack them all, so. I bought this six cup Chemex because I felt like that was kind of what would be good. They have, Bodum has another kind of version of this where the center bit is cork. This is more of a wood and they were about the same price. The thing with the Bodum is it comes with like a metal bit so it, you don't have to get um, like these little paper guys. So I bought these to start with. I do want to go ahead and get one of the, you know, just easy like I can rinse out kind of things because I don't really like to have to throw these out. but. I wanted something to be able to make something today or while we were here with it, and that was the best option for that. I also grabbed um, some more of these double walled espresso glasses. I've had two for forever for my Nespresso, and one of them broke, so I needed to replace one of them, and they come in little sets of two, and they're only $15, but I get a lot of use out of them. And then I bought the double walled latte ones. Um, I thought about getting the coffee mug ones, but because I do make lattes and I find sometimes you don't have quite the amount of room that you want for like foam and everything, this would be a better choice. Personally, 
I mean, you can use whatever coffee cup you have on hand. They have the ones without the handles, but I honestly feel like I'm too much of a klutz for that, and I like to carry one too many things at a time. If I didn't have a handle, I would more likely break something. Um, but I got these just A, because I wanted them, B, they photograph really well. And they're just a nice little thing for my kitchen. And then the last thing that I bought was a silicone ice tray. Now, I've had it on my list to get for a while, and I was watching Downshiftology's video on gadgets the other day and one of the things that she mentions as far as like in her minimalist kitchen that she has is a silicone ice tray and how she kind of uses it to save fresh herbs or to save bone broth or other things like that and i thought that's just such a handy way to utilize things and kind of create those habits where you're not wasting fresh herbs and wasting other stuff so i've had this in like the back of my mind to get forever and i just kind of thought about it again while i was checking out today so i went ahead and grabbed that and i love that it has the lid which means it's a lot easier to pop in and out of our freezer um because we have the lower bottom one if you're stacking stuff up then you at least get a little bit of protection and yeah that is all i have for you guys today so i'm gonna put all this stuff up i'm going to take the d-o-g-o-u-t-s-i-d-e -E. if i say it he will know and that is gonna be a good day so yeah i'm gonna try out my kit mix and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up give it a like it really supports my channel if you have any questions if there are any requests for videos anything you specifically want to see me try um, or would like to know how to use more of let me know in the comments below but yeah i love you guys you matter to me i'm so glad you're here and i will see you all in my next video